Hi everyone, it's Nicole Slater and it is day number 22 of the 30 paintings in 30 days. And I am super excited that you're here and I don't know if you know back there, my board's getting pretty full and I'm excited about this. So day number 22, let's get this thing going. All right. And I really don't have a real idea as to what I'm doing yet as far as a subject. Um, so I'm kind of just thinking I will treat the color as my my subject right now. So sometimes this is like really good for me to, to talk about because um, sometimes there's people that um, ask me and I don't really have an answer, but I do because they'll say, well, I just don't, I'm like in a slump. I don't know what to paint. I'm just not in the mood. I'm, and the best thing you can do when that happens is that you just paint. And I know that sounds crazy, but if you just have no ideas to what you want to do, sometimes just painting, just the, the, the action of painting will put you in that state of mind and it will take away those things that are blocking you from moving forward. So my advice would be to literally do just what I'm doing right now, which is just paint. And it will come to you. It might not come up right away, but it will, will happen. And um, and it doesn't even have to be a painting. It could just be a study piece, you know, sometimes those are really cool. So, um, yeah, so that's one takeaway for today. And, um, and again, I, I'm just playing and I, I didn't even set out with anything in mind except for, you know, I'm just gonna, these are the colors I want to use. And so that's how I got started because then you're gonna say, well, what can I just paint? Well, that's what I mean. You just literally, you know, Pick something, you know, pick something that's, um, it could be a color, it could be a shape, it could be whatever that is. So, anyhow, glad you're here. Happy day to you. And um, we're going to have fun today. So, kind of quick and easy and breezy. Maybe that's all I'll do, breezy. Something breezy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is an ocean kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so, my 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 instinct or my desire today, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice a little bit, is that I want to, again, just embrace the idea of just color and fun and texture. So that's what I'm doing. And um, yeah, not sure what this is, but I like it. I think I'm gonna have to go probably ocean since that looks like where we're heading here. Um, <clears throat> okay, and sometimes <clears throat> if I say, you know, well, I guess that's what I'm doing, and it's not my, I don't know, my first instinct to just do an ocean, then I'm just going to do it because why did all of a sudden it go this direction? So there must be a reason for it, and I'm going to embrace that and, and go for it. So. I think I've done an ocean scene already, but maybe I'll do this one a little different. So um, this one will be, I've just now decided it'll be probably a cliff and the water behind it. And maybe I'll put some little sunset back here. So I'll get a little, just a little bit of a yellow haze in here. So that's how easy it is to get started for me. Um, and again, I don't, expect anyone else to to come up with this that quick but if you do um, it's exciting when it happens so I'm excited for you because that's that's the, the hardest challenge I think for a lot of people okay so I'm just kind of throwing in some shapes I'm thinking maybe some greenery in here somehow maybe it's a silhouette of some trees along the coastline and that will be it. Okay, so um, now I'm going to come in and just start adapting a little bit, get some other things in here. And I like to bring in a little bit of the cloud formation color and sky into the water. So I'm doing that now. And my goal today was just to set out to make it a little bit more simple, easy breezy, and that's literally what we're doing, easy breezy here. Okay. 
And now I will come in with my big brush and do some manipulating with that. And again, I'm not trying to create a masterpiece. I am just literally going with an impression of how I feel this particular ocean looks like to me. So that's, that's my goal. And if I can accomplish that, I'm doing really good to the viewer and to me. So. And the big brush, again, I like to use just because it takes away a little bit of my control. And I, I like it for that reason. Okay, you guys, this is, this is, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say this is about it. So what I'm going to do is just play with this one and, um, you know, get it fun and, and uh, work on these tree ideas. And what I think I'll do is come in and, and uh, put some highlights around these. So I'm going to come in, I'm just going to show you on, on a couple. I'll come in and put some yellow and some other things that so it would look like the sun's kind of hitting the top edge of these tree lined areas in here so that's what I'm going to do next and then just scratch in some designs and and I think that's it so if it changes I apologize but I have to evaluate this off camera a little bit to really take in everything and um, sometimes that can change things but overall you get the idea and you get the um, just the overall idea of what I'm doing and and the impact that I'm trying to make is that my goal here is to just get the impression and the expression of what I'm seeing in a coastline, coastal line, tree lined uh, cliff here. So, all right, thanks you guys. Have a great day and appreciate you always. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, you guys, so um, on the video, um, you watched me and I had to laugh. It was by far my easiest and quickest painting, maybe ever. <laughs> but again, my whole concept or the whole idea of this is that, first of all, when you do art for 28 years, you are going to paint faster than someone who's first starting out. So it doesn't make the painting less worthy or... Um, less uh, beautiful. So sometimes the most simple painting you will ever paint once you have put in your time could be, you know, two seconds. It doesn't matter as long as you're happy with it and it is and it aesthetically reveals what you want it to reveal. So that's one takeaway on this. And also um, I had mentioned that, you know, if you don't have an idea when you go into something, just paint. And sometimes that movement of the brush and the the idea of just painting anything. It could be working with starting with a color or a shape and it will evolve. So that's one way. And it doesn't have to be a painting that you keep. It could be a practice painting. So that's one recommendation. Um, the other thing is my, my painting trip. Great, I'll put on my post on my website, on my blog. And as far as the um, overall look, I, I like it. It's It did exactly what I want it to do. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. So I hope you like it too. Go on to my blog and check it out and let me know. All right, take care. Bye.